Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. We are in our beloved MiG-21, which I'm really uh, starting to get the hang of now, and I do like it. It's Cap's kind of vehicle. Uh, and we're going to look at Autopilot first of all. So, uh, Autopilot is um, this panel down here, also two buttons on the stick, and some other controls elsewhere, but let's go through this uh, control here first of all. First of all, there's this push button here, Stability. Uh, so I can turn that on and I get a little green light. And uh, what that does is it has, as Star uh, describes it, as having a, like a dampening effect. Is that how you describe it, Star? Yeah, it just stops oscillation and also I think it will automatically roll you out if you're in only very slight uh, roll or pitch angles. Roger. Um, I find it quite useful to have it on, so generally for flying I find it to have it on. Okay, um, now that's one of the um, modes of the autopilot. If you want to cancel that anytime, go to the stick here and you'll see that big red button there. Press that and that cancels any of the modes basically. And um, any of these controls you can uh, bind um, to them in the adjust controls menu. Okay, the next thing we'll look at here is the, uh, is the level, the auto level. Now there's no button to press here as such, uh, so you're going to want to use... Uh, let me find it. It's by standard the J key on the keyboard is hold uh, attitude. So you press that and it will basically hold the attitude of whatever you're set. So it's like a, a normal autopilot basically. Um, you do that. I think the green light comes on when you uh, press that. Is that right, Star? Yes, sorry, it did roll. Roger. Is that? And if you've got that on again, you can just cancel it there. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is the recovery, uh, autopilot recovery. This, this one here on the stick and again you can bind that in the controls menu and that is basically if you've got yourself in trouble you're upside down you don't know where you are press that and it will automatically level you out that's right isn't it yep it will just try to cover you two level flight from any other city currently in paper yeah which is bloody all this stuff's great it's really useful i wish i had it in the f15 and stuff like that it would be very useful as you mentioned though that this will absolutely override all your controls so you'll have to cancel the autopilot modes if you want to take control yeah roger again cancel that whenever you need to uh, next we've got another great thing that I just love. It's the uh, auto uh, altitude limit So if you want to set the plane so that it absolutely refuses to go below a certain limit, which is a great thing to have um, You can turn it on there and um, It's a dial there. You can see here is where you can control the altitude in meters radar altitude uh, and if you set it to say 150 meters the plane will absolutely refuse to fly below 150 meters uh, 200 meters, uh, 50 meters, whatever you want to set basically and um, so that's pretty cool, it basically means you can't crash the plane well, not, I'm not sure about that, but in theory and then you can just turn it off and just to be sure, uh, cancel then we've got two modes on the left here uh, landing, direct and auto, now these are auto landing modes uh, we've agreed that these are too complicated for CAP to look at so we're not going to look at these modes uh, but suffice to say they are there it does have RS, RSBN based landing modes this aircraft um, and that's about it yeah. uh, it won't actually land the aircraft for you entirely it will just bring you very close and like 100 meters above the airfield or something like that and the last little bit you have to glide it in is roger that okay um, and uh, so I forgot to say what was the little red button on the control panel on the left that says off uh, turns off the auto landing modes roger that so that's autopilot anything you want to add to that star and i have nothing to add lovely okay so we've done the autopilot now what we want to do now is the engine uh, restart so this is, is a finicky little beast and you can stall the engine quite easily doing acm hard maneuvers okay um so what we can do is restart the engine so let's look at the different commands we need to do that first of all we've got the switch here which is the engine restart which is turned on or turned off then we've got the parameters at which we can use it we really want to use it uh, we want to be above 500 clicks per hour ideally and below mach 0.9 so just to keep so it's unlikely we'll be above mach 0.9 anyway with no engine so just above 500 clicks is a good safe bet um, we want to have our throttle back in idle position. We will see the fan speed start to go up to about 30% if it's uh, relit okay. And then once it's got up to 30%, we can uh, spool the throttle forward and, uh, and start getting it spooled up again, okay? So I'm gonna try that now. So rather than um, do silly maneuvers and stall my engine like that, I'm just gonna turn my engine off manually. I'm gonna put it in throttle, I'm gonna cut the fuel like that. I'm gonna let the engine fan spool down, you can see here.
and that is the engine stopped we're getting a little bit of windmilling but that is the engine stopped we're below 500 clicks so what we're going to do is put it in a dive try not to hit that mountain there's our speed rising once we're up to 500 clicks lovely we're going to turn our auto start on sorry our relight on you can hear it's uh, doing what it needs to do it's inserting compressed air into the system to get the thing started and it's not actually working yet oh because i haven't turned the fuel on silly cap fuel back on and uh, with the fuel back on up we go 30 percent and now we're going to start adding some throttle in slowly don't over rev it back up to operational fan speed And there she goes that is one started engine and then we're going to turn our uh, auto start off burners on and we're happy and away so that is how we do the auto restart um if uh, you kill your engine anything you want to add to that star uh yeah two more little things to mention the manual states that you are not allowed to leave the relight on for a uh, relight on for more than 45 seconds and another thing is, you can't do this infinitely often, you can do this approximately five times per sortie. Roger, because we're using a compressed can, uh, a can of compressed air, we believe, uh, in, the, in, the, in the airplane somewhere. Fine. Right, we uh, hope you enjoy that, and we will see you later.